So now let's talk about arrays. So imagine you have five variables. Okay, so let's say, oh, wow, what five? Let's go for four variables. So let's say we have four variables. We have a, comma b, comma c, comma d. So we are going for four variables here, and in each variable you, in each variable you will be having some value. So let's say in a you have one, in b you have two, in c we have three, and in d we have four. So we have four variables and four values. So imagine this each variable as a cup or a cup of tea. So this is your cup and this is your tea. So this is a cup, this is a tea. So every cup will have its own tea. So this that's a cup of tea now. So instead of having four cups and instead of carrying those four cups in your forefinger, we can use a single tray, right? Or you can carry a, what do you say? You can carry a single tray in which you'll be having four values or four cups. So how to create a single tray? So we can simply specify int and we'll say this, we have something called a Z. So Z is a variable. So in A, you can have one variable. In B, you can have one, one value. In C, you can have one value. But in Z, if you, if you specify only Z, it will only have one value. But if you give a square bracket, now this Z can have multiple values. Okay, but how many values? So let's say if I if I want to assign four values in this Z, so we can specify four here. If you want 10 values, you can specify 10 here. If you want only two values, you can specify two here. So this Z is an array because it has multiple values. So what is array? Array is collection of elements. Okay, so this one, two, three, four, these are elements. So it is collection of elements. But hold on. Uh, can we have different types of values in an array? Uh, the answer is no, because we have, we have to specify some data type here, right? If it is mentioning int, so this array will have all int variables or int values. So you have to specify it's a collection of similar type of elements. Okay, so what is array? It's a collection of similar type of elements. So we, we, we need an array of four elements, so we'll say z of z of four. So this z variable will have, or this z array will have four elements. Now to specify these values there, so I want to assign one, two, three, four in z. So to specify, we have to say z equal to one. But hold on, z is not a variable, it's an array, right? It's an array variable. So you have to specify the, the location where you want to assign the values. So imagine we have z, so this is z now. So this z will have four values, so one, one, two, three, four. So we need to assign these values there. So each location, so this is one position, this is second position, this is third position, this is fourth position. But in array, the position number starts with zero. So this is zero position, this is one position, this is two, this is three. So whenever you want to access the second value, we have to mention it as one. When you want to work with the fourth value, we have to say it is three. Since it starts with zero, so it will be one less, right? So I want to assign one to the first position, which means I have to assign it to zero, location zero. Then we have z of one, which is two, z of two, which is three, and z of three, which is equal to four. Now, once you assign the values, you'll be getting a z array with four values. Now is it compulsory to assign these values? We can have any values. We can say 34, we can say 72, we can say maybe 104. We can assign any value here, which, whichever int form, int value you want. Okay, but just for the example, we are going for 1, 2, 3, 4, just to demonstrate in a proper way. So I'm going for these four values. Since we have an array, I don't require these variables. Okay, but still I will we'll make, we'll make it as a comment. Now what next? So instead of having four values, we are going for one array to have those four values. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll try to print these values. So to print these values, we can simply say print f person d since they are int values. So we have to say person d comma z. Will it work if I assign a z value there? Uh, let's try. If I run this, oh, it says an it says there's an error. It's it, it is printing something very weird, some weird value. So what we'll do is, we don't, we don't have to print the complete array. Once, at one time we can print one value. So we need to specify, we need to print the first value of an array by specifying z of zero. 
and if I run this, you'll be getting value which is one. Uh, again, I want to print on new line. Okay, let's run this. So you'll be getting a value which is one. I want to print the second value, so I will say one. Z of one, I will be, I will be getting second value which is two. And if I say Z of three, I will be getting the third value which is four. Oh, sorry, Z Z of three is fourth value, right? So I will be getting four. So that's how you have to print the values. But hold on, I want to print all the values, right? So how to print all the values? Uh, so this there is one way we can specify number of person D here, person D and person D, and for this we have to specify Z of zero, comma Z of one. That's one way. Uh, we'll not go for this type of things. What we'll do is we'll say Z of zero. Okay, and we'll use only one person D. Since we want to print on multiple lines, so we can just copy this line and we can just copy this line, paste it, make it Z of 1, paste Z of 2, paste Z of 3. So we have we will be having four printf statements. So whenever you have repetitive statements, we can use loop as we know. Now in this loop, what we'll do is we'll specify as we'll specify a variable which will count the values of the loop, which is i. So from which point we need to start? So if can I say i equal to 1? Uh, the problem is your array starts with 0. So you cannot specify 1 here. You should specify 0. Now where to where to end? Is it 4? No, it's 3, right? Because we are starting with 0, so we have to end 1 less than 4, which is 3. And then we have to say i++. plus plus. We need to give uh, curly brackets. And then instead of specifying z of 0, we have to say z of 1. Right, because every time your zero will ch your i value will increment and it will change the value of z of z of so from z of zero to z of three, and when I run this, you will be getting all those four values one two three four. Simple. So that's how we can use an array, which is integer type of array in C. So what is array? It's a collection of collection of elements. So thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.